hello guys welcome back to my channel now i'm going to be talking about the um debate going on in germany to outsource asylum seekers in probably next year 2025 now i told you guys earlier that um the german government was discussing on using this method now you know they copied from the uk because UK was uh, going to send asylum seekers to Rwanda um, to process it there. But now that the new government came into force, uh, into power, they immediately changed that very plan. They cancelled it and said that it is dead on arrival, um, saying that it is not feasible. So even at that, since Germany was copying the UK, they are still going on with that same plan. They say they are not dropping that plan anytime soon. They are still going to continue to see how it is possible with their own country. So if the Lego hurdles that um, some activists in um, UK had not uh, be, had been happening, maybe the UK government uh, would have succeeded in sending a lot of um, asylum seekers to Rwanda. All right. So now the plan is to discourage people from coming. Remember also that Italy is following the same full step um, in sending asylum seekers to, um, what do you call it, to Albania. Okay, that's the country they had their own deal with. And then it is going to start very soon. Now, Germany continues debate on assessing asylum procedures. Following the collapse of the UK's so-called Rwanda plan to send asylum seekers to be processed and rehoused in the African nation, the debate on using third countries to outsource asylum procedures continues across Europe, including in Germany. Germany's Federal Ministry of Interior said that the government would continue to examine various models of dealing with migration, not overtly ruling out a cooperation with a third country similar to the model that had been envisaged by the UK under, under the conservative rule until recently. Upon taking office last week, newly elected British Prime Minister Keir Starmer announced that under his leadership, the UK will no longer pursue the intended cooperation with Rwanda. A spokesperson for the Germany's Ministry of the Interior, meanwhile, told the EPD news agency that pursuing a plan similar to the SYUK deal with Rwanda would unlikely. So they are still debating on it. They have not concluded on this matter so whatever the conclusion be i will also come here to inform you he stressed there were too many legal hurdles to enact any asylum agreement like this so you see the reason why they did not succeed in the uh, uk they say that there are a lot of hurdles there are a lot of bypass you need to sign this law you need to make amendment and all that and such uh, amendment does not take just one, one day or one month or even few months. It takes a lot of time. Now, chief among these issues is a key piece of EU law. We state that it is illegal to send asylum seekers to a country to which they have no connection at all. The spokesperson also added that it is in practical terms the cost of relocating asylum procedures will be many times higher than the cost of accommodating asylum seekers in Germany. So these are some of the reasons some people are bringing, saying that it is better they still continue to process the asylum request in Germany. Now, my own question is, what is the difference between sending someone to a third country and also processing the asylum, uh, uh, the asylum in their country, in their homeland there? Opposition spends fresh opportunities. Despite this official statement, the Christian Democrat CDU or CSU, which currently are the biggest opposition party in Bundestag, Germany's lower house of parliament, continue not only to uh, propose such third country solutions repeatedly, but are now feeling further encouraged by the UK decision to abort the Rwandan plan. Alexander Trump, spokesperson for domestic policy for the CDU-CSU parliamentary group in Bundestag, said the party 
wanted to stick to the project and make use of the groundwork done by our British partners. In particular, Trump framed London's departure from the plan as an opportunity for Germany. There are now all the more uh, capacities available for us in Rwanda, he told EPD. Hmm. So I, I think they are now eyeing the Rwandan um, this thing there. The, the buildings that the UK government has had, the, the, all the construction, all the houses, maybe they want to, they, they may likely contact the UK to say, oh, please give us that house, um, transfer this uh, house contract, this everything to us so that we can use it. That's what these people are now thinking. Hmm. Being situated in continental Europe, we are much more affected by illegal migration. Germany and EU therefore need opportunity to carry out asylum procedures outside of Europe, said Trump, hmm. speeding up Dublin returns. The federal government and the opposition, meanwhile, continue to clash on immigration issues across the board. However, Chancellor Olaf Scholz, which is the, um, the German chancellor, has stated started to make some connections to the opposition in recent months, pledging, among other things, to speed up migration procedures. Now, during a visit to the Federal Office for Migration, BAMF, he said that he wanted to be for political effort for faster processing times, including an overall improvement of the return of asylum seekers to other EU countries as part of uh, the so-called Dublin Procedure. Now, what does that mean? It means that those of you who are running away from the country where you arrived and you have thumbprinted and you are seeking asylum there and later you flee to Germany, it, they, have, they, they say that they are working very much to return these people back to their country. So most times you realize that 99.9% .9 of people who left their country of um, first asylum and go to Germany may not likely get document, even though they may waste all your time. Some people may likely go to Germany with their two years document or even five years document. You realize that these people will still keep you until that two years document expires. Then they will show you their real color. Even if you have five years document, they may hold you there until that document expires. Then they will show you their true color. It's either you are deported or you are uh, sent back to that first country of um, asylum. And when you get there, now that your document and everything have expired, remember you did not work, you did not renew the document, you don't even have, then you start from square one. Getting that document again will become a problem. You'll be running from one lawyer to another. That's what these things, that's what Germany does. They are good at doing this. So don't fall for these things and say, oh, some of you, the worst part is that some of you have documents and you still go to Germany to seek another aduru because you are eating free money there. How would you be that? According to the so-called Dublin regulation, the EU country first entered by a prospective asylum seeker should ordinarily also be the one in charge of examining and processing that asylum claim. If an asylum seeker lodges um, a claim in a second EU country, he is to be sent back to the first country of entry. However, some countries, including Italy, are currently not accepting any or only a small number of asylum seekers that they would be obliged to uh, accept under the Dublin Agreement, and they feel overwhelmed with the ongoing rate of newly arrivals, or new arrivals, excuse me. So these are the issues that uh, they are currently facing now. Okay, scores meanwhile and also said that technological things needed to be used to speed up asylum procedures. He said that artificial intelligence AI should also play a role in helping BMF in the near future. Scores said that AI could help ensure that uh, we can make routine decisions quickly, but with a high level of quality while also stressing that the federal office had to maintain sufficient staff levels as well. He added that the use of AI was already being prepared in many places. To this end, we must ensure that we are state of the art, the chancellor stressed, uh, stressed individual decisions needed. However, it is unclear whether speed, uh, whether speed truly is of the essence. BMF President Hans Eckhardt 
Shoma said that the average processing time for all initial asylum applications is currently down four to six months, which is the fastest rate in almost a decade. The employees working at the authority always process the applications individually and uh, tell out to the people. We are stressing that the importance of best put has paid attention to each case. The number of asylum applications in Germany, meanwhile, has fallen in the past year. From January to June 2024, 121,000 applications for asylums, uh, asylum were made across the country, making a fall of almost 20% compared to the same period last year. Most of the applicants came from Syria, Afghanistan, and Turkey, according to BMF data. So, if you are running to Germany, know the consequences of where you are running to. These people don't play. So, don't also play with them. Be serious. And know what is going on before you fall into a hole that you did not dig. Uh -huh. You may end up being deported. You know that Germany is always good at deporting immigrants. So if you don't go well there, if you don't mind your steps, you are going to end up being deported. Um, so um, whatever comes out of their discussion in this uh, outsourcing migrant um, in their country, I will let you guys know. Please do where to share our videos. On YouTube subscribe there um, those of you following us on TikTok every time we don't publish on TikTok but we always publish on our YouTube and Facebook pages please follow us there and then share our videos thank you and God bless you so I didn't I didn't I forgot to tell you those who wants to send money uh, don't forget to use tap tap send and get this free money use my promo code critics news in capital letters and then get this free money wherever you are. Thank you.